Hello, I'm Marco Castellana, VP Products of Azure AI. Welcome to our session at the Ability Summit, where we're going to have a look at AI for accessibility. Well, I'm joined by some amazing folks here today. So we have Martin Bedere from Seaboard. We have Perry Nightingale from WPP and Teresa Wong from our Xbox certification team. And today we're going to show you how AI makes the world more accessible for everyone. But first, I'd like to show you how AI makes the world more accessible for me. I have a minor visual challenge in that I am red green colorblind. And the other day, I came across this infographic here, which I can't really read or make sense of because all of these lines are distinguished by color. Furthermore, I've been typing a lot lately and my arm has been kind of bothering me. And so one of the things I've been doing is using the speech to text feature that's built into Windows like this. How has the use of color changed over time? I can submit this question to AI, which is able to see this graphic. And with just that, it's able to give me a synopsis of what this graphic says about how the use of colors changed in these Coca-Cola ads. This stuff is amazing, and that's just the beginning. Now I'd like to pass it to Martin Bedere, who uses one of our voices as his voice. The first thing I would like to say is thanks for your consideration with our project. We are an open source project and we are always open to collaborate with other people who have good ideas to improve the quality of life for people with disabilities. So thank you all. Hi, my name is Martin Bedurette and I am one of the co-founders of Seaboard. I can't speak well due to my disease. I was diagnosed with ALS eight years ago, so I will use Seaboard to do the presentation. That is why you hear my voice so nice and beautiful. It is also a great demonstration of what is the mission of the project. The story of Seaboard is a story about helping people with disabilities, and that is also including me, as I am myself a person who needs a lot of help from others since my ALS diagnosis. ALS is a disease that affects the motor neurons, and in time, you start to lose the ability to control your muscles, including ability to speak. To give you a quick reference, it is the same disease that affected to Stephen Hawking, but the difference is that I am more intelligent than him. I wish. At that time, I was suddenly introduced to a new world of disabilities, and as a good engineer, I found a world of technology challenges. I learned that there was a great field in the world of speech therapy called augmentative and alternative communication. Augmentative and alternative communication includes all modes of communication used to express thoughts, needs, wants, and ideas. We all use this type of communication when we use gestures, facial expressions, symbols, illustrations, or writing. I think that communication is the most important ability for humans. Language shapes your mind. When I started to lose my ability to speak, I started to think differently. I found myself being less social. That was something that I could handle as I was conscious of my loss. But what about children with autism or cerebral palsy who are prevented from talking from the very beginning of life? In 2017, I found a project in GitHub that was created a few months ago by an Israeli developer called Shea Kojokaru. The system was quite simple at that time, just a front-end app with the basic functions of an AAC system, but the technology stack was modern and allowed to grow the code base to expand Seaboard for multiple languages and multiple platforms. We got in touch and started to collaborate. I looked for funds for the project and applied to the UNICEF Innovation Fund. We were granted initial funding and then the Seaboard journey began. Today, after almost seven years, we have 50,000 users around the world. We did several pilots in countries where a high-tech AAC solution was not available and we have worked with Microsoft, UNICEF, and many country governments to provide an open, multi-language, browser-based, and multi-platform AAC solution. We are currently a small team of six people, but we have a large community on Seaboard. 
We receive collaboration not only from developers, but also from speech therapists, parents, patients, and others who are involved in the field of speech difficulties. Communication is the main objective of our project. Seaboard is a technology-based alternative way to communicate that is suitable for children and adults with speech and language impairments. It is a multi-platform app that uses symbols and text-to-speech to aid communication. Seaboard can be used to develop language in children with pathological conditions like autism, cerebral palsy, or Down syndrome. For adults, it can be used to combine the use of symbols with fixed sentences along with free-writing sentences to help achieve more fluid speech. The system allows for a high level of customization, enabling users to copy, paste, share, resize, and edit boards to meet the specific needs of the patient. We leverage the web and cloud infrastructure to offer a wide range of symbols, public boards, downloads, and neural voices, such as the one I am using right now. Seaboard supports 46 languages at present, and most of the translations and proofreading are provided by the open source community. We have translations from small countries with non-popular languages where there has never been an AAC solution available. For example, we deployed Seaboard in a small country called Timor-Leste. They speak a native language called Tetum, and we have been working with native people in order to complete the translations to the Tetum language. Thanks to Microsoft's grant of AI for accessibility and the support of the UNICEF's local office, we were able to conduct a pilot in Timor-Leste. The goal was to make the solution ready to scale up at the country level. A mid-pilot in-person evaluation occurred in October, featuring observations within the participating schools. We are really happy about this work as we were able to provide a solution for children with disabilities for an entire country that never had an AAC system available. This highlights the importance of an open source solution for people with disabilities. We believe that our application should be inclusive and accessible regardless of country or language. Now, let me tell you how we are using artificial intelligence to enhance Seaboard and offer new features to get a more fluid speech. As part of the goals supported by the Microsoft S grant, last year we introduced a new AI-powered feature designed to assist users in constructing sentences using pictograms. By analyzing user inputs and the context of their message, the AI suggests a phrase according to pictograms and word combinations, making it easier for individuals to form coherent and meaningful sentences. This feature empowers individuals with communication disabilities by providing them with a more efficient and supportive tool for constructing sentences, enabling them to express themselves more clearly and meaningfully. To build this enhancement, we use Azure OpenAI API. It was really simple and straightforward to implement. We were able to pilot this with patients and professionals quickly after the initial deployment. The results show that with AI assistance, users can construct sentences more quickly and efficiently, reducing the time it takes to convey their thoughts and feelings. Moreover, in the case of children, the AI feature is designed to grow alongside the user's language development. It can introduce new vocabulary and sentence structures, facilitating language growth and ensuring that children can express themselves in increasingly complex ways. I can show you how this feature works using a core board. A core board is a special type of board that contains a specific set of words called core vocabulary. The idea behind core vocabulary is that an AAC user can communicate using these words to express their needs and feelings. This approach has been proven effective, especially with children, because they can incorporate new words into their vocabulary gradually. By improving the phrases that the child is trying to build using a core board, we can provide additional information to help them incorporate new words and provide better clarity and meaning to their communication. I. To go. Fast. Bathroom. I need to go to the bathroom quickly. She. To wait. Large. She waited a long time. Artificial intelligence can be of great help to both patients and professionals who assist them. Communication boards used in augmentative and alternative communication AAC systems are typically created by special educators and speech therapists. 
However, creating these boards is a time-consuming task since each user requires specific boards tailored to their individual needs, pathology, environment, and so on. To simplify this process for professionals, we propose to the Microsoft Accessibility Team to develop a new tool that leverages artificial intelligence to create AAC boards. Using Azure AI Studio and OpenAI model, we are developing the first AI board builder. The tool operates by entering basic information about the board's dimensions and writing a prompt about the board's purpose. The tool then generates a board with relevant vocabulary and symbols or pictograms for each word or sentence. Furthermore, the tool allows for the creation of AI-based pictograms when the generated word does not match any existing image in the pictograms database. This new tool can save valuable time for professionals who frequently create boards for their patients. Thanks to the support of the Microsoft Accessibility Team, we are about to launch this new tool that relies on Azure services to provide the language and image generation models. Okay, that would be all I got for my presentation. Please feel free to contact us if you have any questions or comments about Seaboard or any other project. Our mission is every day to improve people with disabilities' lifestyles by returning the voice to all those who have lost it. We are sure that technology can empower people with disabilities. In my personal experience, having a disability has taught me to collaborate and support others. It has made me realize that the challenges I face are also faced by many others, and by working together, we can find solutions. Thank you once again for your time. Well, thank you so much, Martine. You are doing some incredible work there at Seaboard.